This is the Estes Multi Rock. It's a two stage rocket with a payload section. Inside the payload section is a Harry Potter figurine, so he's about to become the first uh, member of Hogwarts to go into space. It'll be going up on a C60 and a B44. We have a light. In five, In five, four, five three, three, two, two one. one, launch. So this is a multi-rock clone. We lost the upper stage of an earlier one, but it was such a cool rocket, I built the upper stage from scratch, which we'll show you. And then we covered the, uh, the booster stage, and we're going to go and send it again. This time we won't be sending Harry Potter. We'll be sending a, uh, an Autobot. Transformer. Oh, a Transformer is exactly what we'll be sending. Sorry, I might have got it wrong. Transformer. Autobots, roll out. Have fun. So it's a two stage rocket. The lower portion will go up on a C. The upper portion will be lit at height by the lower portion as a B. We do expect some uh, pretty good height, uh, maybe 1,100 feet. It's a pretty heavy rocket, 330 meters. Um, it will be covered on a uh, 20 inch or about uh, 50 centimeter streamer. I figure if we send it up on a parachute, we'll never see it again. Winds continue to be light and variable. Temperature hovering around 30 degrees. We do have a light. We do have recovery. In five, four, three, two, one, launch. Okay. There comes the booster stage. Main stage still continuing up. There it goes there. Coming back, we can see the streamer deploy. If we're real lucky, it'll drift back this way, but it does look like it's heading for the uh, enemy center. Hard to say if it's inside the confines of the field or not. It's not. But it's So this is part two of our adventures with uh, the multi-rock. We're flying it a little more advanced, of course, as you've seen, as a uh, two-stage rocket, which involves, of course, building the booster. You have to be very careful to get things lined up correctly. And, of course, loading the rocket uh, for flight is a little more advanced. We'll do a separate uh, video at that at some point in the future. But if you take your time and uh, you make sure that everything fits, that includes the couplers, which may need to be uh, peeled so that they will fit inside the primary stage which uh, we've already built as shown here um, you can make a super kit that uh, will get some spectacular flights um, as demonstrated in our two launches here beforehand not exceptionally difficult to build just a little more patience uh, than it required than when we were building the primary stage as a beginner's kit and the hero shot with the rocket and its clone thanks a lot